I recently made a video revealing my secret SEO strategy to rank on YouTube. You probably didn't believe me because, well, I had no subscribers. Well, guess what? Your girl ranked number one on YouTube search. So now that you have proof that this method works, I'm going to give you a rundown on how I managed to rank number one on YouTube with almost no subscribers. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Minded Marketing. Now today I'm gonna to show you how I, with this now 28 subscriber channel, managed to rank number one, two, and three on YouTube with three different keywords. So I did use my secret method to do this, which I talked about in another one of my videos. Now this is gonna be a two part video. This video we're going to be going through the first three major steps. The next video we'll be going to the last two steps. So let's hop onto my account so I can show you how this works. Okay guys, so as you can see, we're in my YouTube studio. And if you go over to content where I'll show you my videos. Okay, so here's a video I uploaded on April 10th. You know, you're supposed to clear a cache and everything before you look, and that's what I prefer to do. I threw up some screenshots, but I can open a new incognito tab so that you guys can see. So now I'm in Edge. I am not logged in on YouTube in Edge at all. Okay guys, so I just opened YouTube on a private window. I'm gonna go ahead and type, for example, secret SEO, get more views. And there you can see I'm already ranking number two. Okay, and if I type secret SEO rank YouTube, you'll see there. I ranked number one. Okay, so step number one is Google Keyword Planner. Now, I talked about this in my other video and I had some questions coming from the forums that I was on. Some people were confused thinking that you have to pay for it. You do not have to pay for this tool. This tool is completely free to use. The only thing is you do have to create a Google Ads account. Now, to create a Google Ads account, you still do not have to pay. You just simply have to sign up, just like you'd sign up on any other platform. So I have this account set up. Okay, so now I'm going to actually use the title of this video that you're watching right now, because as of right now, I do not know what title it is, and actually do the process with you guys so that you can see how I do this. So I'm trying to find uh, a title for something like, How to Rank on YouTube, for example. I'm going to see the search results for this. When I use Google Keyword, I'm looking for low competition, high search volume. So as you can see, if I type how to rank on YouTube, it kind of gives me some low competition, but very low search volume. 10 to 100 or 100 to 1K, for me, it's just not the best. I usually prefer to go for 1K above. This simply means that there's at least 1,000 searches for this term or keyword per month. On Google and like I said in my other video the reason why it's important to try to search and rank on Google is because Google owns YouTube and if you rank on Google it's just gonna put it in front of more people so I'm gonna just type rank on YouTube right and see what I get okay so rank on YouTube, I get 1K to 10K average monthly searches and competition low. So this is perfect for me to start off with. And so usually I have a document like a Google Drive document on the side where I copy over all these keywords. So you just simply, you know, put the checkbox on the ones that you want, push copy, and then you can paste it into Word. Next, I am going to look for something like get more views. Essentially what I'm doing now is just looking for tags that I can tag my video with. Because I use a free version of TubeBuddy, you only get about three tags that they will, they will suggest for you. So this is an option that you can use to get more tags for your YouTube video uh, for free. So I can take tags like this that have a pretty good search volume. You kind of want these low hanging fruit. If it says high, that just means it's high competition. And if it's high competition and like only 1k to 10k in search volume, it's really not worth it. Okay guys, so step two of this process is using TubeBuddy. Now if you don't know what TubeBuddy is, it's a free extension that you can put into Chrome that will basically serve as your SEO tool for YouTube. If you want, the link is in the description down below. I will also have a link to Google Keyword Planner because some people said it was kind of difficult to find. Open TubeBuddy. This is the extension. I go to Keyword Explorer. This is kind of directly connected to Google Trends, which is awesome. So what I do is I go back to 
the keyword that I found in Google Keyword Planner, and that was rank on YouTube. You can see that it says it's a poor score. The most important thing with TubeBuddy is these score analysis right down here. You want to look at why you got a poor score. Okay, the search volume is very good. That's one of the most important things to me. If you look down here, it says the number of monthly volumes estimated as at 105k on YouTube. That right there is very important to me. I want to make sure that's a high search keyword on YouTube. So this is good. The problem is the competition is poor. Most likely meaning that it's going to be hard for me as a small YouTuber probably to rank with those keywords. However, the optimization strength is excellent. So the one thing that brings me down really is the competition. So this is where I go into the process of thinking around how I can work around this. So I'll go back to Keyword Planner. So when I go back into Keyword Planner, I see certain words pop out like views, subscribers, increase. So I'm going to see how I can or incorporate that into this title. So if I write rank on YouTube, no subscribers. Subscribers. and I got a score of excellence so if you're watching this video right now you look at the title you probably see that I wrote how I ranked on YouTube with no subscribers now I'm gonna show you something that I did with my other video to get similar results I didn't rank number one but I think I ranked number five before which is really good for a small channel like mine there this is the video that I made about how you can make an online store in one day using one of my favorite products. Now as you can see, the first video is an ad, but if you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I ranked seven. And to be honest, this was not my favorite video to make, but obviously that's awesome that I even ranked seven. But this is the same process that I used for this as well. So step three in this process is thumbnails. It's important that you have a thumbnail style. You have a defined way of doing your thumbnails that not only make you stand out, but that are also cohesive and that when someone gets onto your channel, they'll see that you have a distinct style of how you do your thumbnails. Now I can show you, for example, with mine, as you can see, even though I only have 13 a video, that I now have a distinct style of thumbnails that I like to use. So even if you see my last video, which I just uploaded, uh, has an orange background, it really pops out and stands out compared to the competition around it. Now I make all my thumbnails on Canva. It's completely for free. It's amazing. I even sometimes edit my videos using Canva and I make all of my intros using Canva. And I will be doing an in-depth video of how I do that. It's kind of crazy. So I hope this helped. Now I will be making a new video about how to optimize your old content. So you definitely want to subscribe to make sure you don't miss out. So that's the video. If you want a full in-depth walkthrough of my SEO strategy, then I recommend you click the video on your right. As per usual, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.